Pursuing God's Heart, 1 Timothy chapter 5, the first two verses. Again, Paul's giving instructions to Timothy about how to um, kind of lead the church, really. He's representing an apostle. I wouldn't call Timothy the pastor, really, of the church in Ephesus. I'd call him Paul's representative. He's helping the church to become healthy, to become what it should be. But he's got to navigate the complexity of dealing with people. And any time we're involved in anything church related, we've got to navigate the complexity of dealing with people. And I just love the simplicity of what he says here at the start of chapter five. He, he breaks the, the church into four categories, if you like. Older men, older women, younger men, younger women. And, uh, and, and what he says basically is treat them as if they're members of your family. And so he says, do not rebuke an older man, but encourage him as you would a father. And so it's always tempting, uh, not always, it can be tempting with an older man maybe uh, being a little bit stubborn or difficult or, um, I don't know, just making life challenging in the church. It can be tempting to kind of exert your authority and go after them. Paul says, no, no, encourage him as you would a father. You wouldn't go after your father and poke him in the chest and rebuke him. You'd, you'd encourage him to do the right thing. That's what he's saying here. Encourage him as if he is a father or as if he is your father. Younger men as brothers. When you're dealing with younger men, don't lord it over them either, but instead encourage them like an older brother with your arm around the shoulder. Older women as mothers. Again, there's a, a different demeanor, a different approach, a different manner with which we would speak to older women. He's saying speak to older women as mothers and then younger women as sisters. And then he adds the little comment in all purity. That's the potentially difficult, risky situation for, for Timothy is um, interacting with and dealing with the, the younger women. Not their fault. It's going to be an issue on his side. But, but he says in all purity. You know, that there's there's actually some things you might with your younger sister, you know, uh, kind of tickle and have fun. Mm -mm, not so not so with the younger women in church. There needs to be a, a real sense of care and concern. But the beautiful thing about that little two verse section there is that that he's saying all the different people in church, all the different complexities of the situation, you're dealing with family. And that's the thing that's so beautiful. It's not just, you know, church is a bit like a family. And the church is a bit like a social club. No, the church is a family. And so that's the privilege that we have. And it's it's really enjoyable to watch that with someone who doesn't have the family that they would maybe want to have. And so church really is their family. And for those of us who are blessed with family, to recognize that we're blessed with church family too. It may be difficult. It may be complex. It may take some navigating. But here's a little guide. Older men treat them like fathers, younger men like brothers, older women like mothers, younger women like sisters. It's a privilege to be part of a family and it's a, a guide to help us in the complexities of it. And we're, you know, lockdown is kind of coming to an end. We're, we're easing it. We're going to start to be able to interact with people again. There's going to be some complexity, but 1 Timothy 5 verses 1 and 2 may be helpful. We are family and so we can uh, navigate the difficult members of the family or the awkward situations in the family because God has brought us together as his family.